I was trying to do a quick video that there was somebody coming, so. I might not be able to complete it properly. That's a lovely structure, isn't it? It looks like a um, fresco on the wall there. That's what it looks like. I have been in here and done all this before, by the way. Yeah, I have done this before. Mary Swedmore. <sighs> St. Mary's. Look at that beautiful stained glass window. Look. I'll do the video first because someone could come in. At least I would have done some of it. plain ceiling really. I'm sure it looked more oldie worldy when I came before. <sighs> Wife of George Hodge. It's 1684 is a Hodge grave here. George Hodges died in 1654 at uh, age 43. Hodge grave. Hey, Hodge. You never know, sorry, you could be related to this one. Someone coming back. You never know, though, do you? So you can see why I have to do the video when there's no one in. Because, um, here like, near this place rest the bodies of George Hodges. Squire and Anne, his wife, since the wife of Jeremy Horlier Clark, in hope of joy, ah, Maury Luku Rummy. And there's like a badge, it's like a coat of arms. But I'll take a picture of that. Somebody coming. Sorry, somebody's been and gone. They could have made a noise, it doesn't really matter. It's a lovely cross on there, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely that, that window there. me.
It's difficult to video then, let us stop. There was a family with three small children. Uh, it's very difficult to video in this, people. Very difficult. And here we've got um, the Saxon Square. The village. something a brass there let me just read that that's something to do with um Alfred the Great on it this brass was erected by Robert Edmund uh, Crinson MP first years of King Edward the seven being the uh, the death of King Alfred the Great <sighs> 901 yeah so 901 to 1901 there's Alfred the Great look I'm related to him I've got him in my tree yeah we look similar I reckon we do Saxon definitely one of my great great grandfathers. I'll take a picture of that in a minute. Uh, that's the image of the fresco on the wall round here somewhere. There's even a key there, look. Very trusting here, aren't they? That's the fresco, look. It's probably been restored to a certain extent. I don't think I've videoed in here because of the family. stained glass windows out here as well. That. I'll take pictures in a minute. It's lovely with the light shining through. Like I said, I've done all this before. I've got some leaflets. They leave the candles up and they don't leave you anything to light them with. <laughs> <sighs> this is like the little cafe area. Here. Yeah. There's a little place of quiet prayer, I think, here. Yeah. Beautiful stained glass windows. Gorgeous as this is. I don't think I got I managed to video it properly a minute ago. Memory of John by Sarah Tiley. Erected to the Memory of John and Three Daughters by Sarah Tiley. And Sarah Hancock, The Lost Survivor, 1892. They're twelve sons. Wow.
It's really amazing. Amazing. And of course it probably tells you what it's all about here. Um, this, these stones which bear consecration crosses are parts of one of the medieval altars broken up during the Reformation. There's a stone from a cross there then. Right, so I did video all that a minute ago, but I was under pressure. That's why I like to get videos done before people. I think I got to about here, and then I had to go over the photos I written. Beautiful colours, aren't they? I know it sounds weird, but I could have imagined people following David Bowie like they followed Jesus because um, he had even more followers, really. I know it's what it sounds like sacrilege, but, you know, it's like a lot of it so long ago, people like to be able to identify with something closer to home, but then you can't keep changing people, can you? Or we'll have a different Jesus this time and all that. People that died a long time ago here. There's a nice little window, look, of St. Mary in the area where they get changed and all that sort of thing. That's Mary. I'm taking longer than I would normally because um, I don't know when I'd come back again. Now here we've got a Thomas Hodge here, look. Sacred to the memory of Thomas Hodge. So the Hodge family from round here Wounded it, something about that. Wounded, wounded. And there's another one up. George Hodges, Esquire. Probably even more behind there. That's it. Sometimes these rooms hold um, information on their own, don't they? These little rooms. This is the organ, by the way. This is the organ, and this is the changing room. And here, this is the changing room. And if we look up on the ceiling there, can see angels carved into the ceiling. We've seen different scenes depicted. They did, but they're like frescoes that have been painted onto the ceiling. Something I would have missed. Maybe that there was someone that took longer. Maybe she knew about this, but... God, that really draws you when you're... When you see that, this picture here, it really draws you over to it. It's so beautiful in the sunlight. I think we might get the bells.
I've been here half an hour. Let me just zoom into that picture down there. Kings. That's what that looks like. Kings. Sometimes the Queens. Yeah, that looks like Victoria, doesn't it? Victoria, Regina, Elizabeth, first expert, William the first, there we are, there's William the first at the Conqueror, Alfred, there we go, that looks like the Battle of Hastings there, that's a Harold, there's Harold there with the Arrow in his eye, look. Yeah, it's quite a very, very. It tells a story, doesn't it? That's, um. Coronation of Victoria there. And Elizabeth. Hmm. I might have to get some more pictures actually. <laughs>